I imagined that the sea ice would be silent. Because it had been in Greenland. But not when you're traveling over the sea. All the time it's groaning and moaning and, and moving. And then sometimes, you know, the sea would, would break through and you'd look back at your ski tracks and find that they, they were up in the air, they were perpendicular, because the ice had just been pressed up. And of course, once you've pitched a tent and got your head on the ice, you hear it even more. And you can hear a storm coming, you can hear it rippling under the ice. <laughs> 